Adobe InDesign. In this video, we are going to look at the Layers panel. So uh, go ahead and open up your Pages tab. If you don't see this particular layout, you want to go to Windows and Workspace and select Advanced. With Advanced selected, go ahead and open up the Pages tab and select a page that you'd like to edit. In this case here, I'm going to be focusing on this particular page and I want to show you the Layers panel. Once you open up the Layers panel, you're going to see that there are a variety of different layers available here. You can see now that uh, we do have layers going on. We have this subheading down below, this image, and then we've got this headline graphic here. When you select an object, you can see that it's highlighted in the layers panel. Uh, so this is on layers one here. And when you toggle open the layers panel, you're gonna see the top green box is this one here. Okay, when you select an image here, you can see basically it's this clipped image here. We've got a uh, headline here. Notice that double clicking this headline does not actually do anything, you can lock it. If you wanna select it, you need to go ahead and click this little icon here, the, the box icon, that's how you select it. And then we also have this particular uh, green box here, okay? So again, this green box is the top green box here. We have a headline and we've got this group here. You can toggle open the group, you'll see that is uh, the actual subheading. You can rename items, you can just right click um, or slow click in there. So I'll just a slow second click. This is the, the subheading group. So that way it's easier to understand. When you select an item, again, you have to click the icon here. You can basically rearrange by clicking and dragging the layers down. So if I drag it down, you're going to see now this particular item is below. Okay, so on this particular, uh, this layer one on this particular page, now that subheading is below here. Selecting an image here, you can see this is the clipped image here. You can click on that image and then drag it down also. That's how you're going to go ahead and rearrange your objects inside of the page here. The other way of doing this is going up to the menu to object, arrange, and you can see you can bring it to the front. You can uh, bring it forward, send it backwards. So in this case, I'm going to click send it backwards. And you can see this green box here. What it did is it just went backwards below the subheading group which is still in front of this image here. Okay, so let's go to Object, Arrange, and then Send Backwards again. And now you can see that it's moved down in the Layers panel. Okay, so you've got two ways of actually navigating and moving around. That's how you want to use the Layers panel. As soon as you actually activate on another page here, you're going to notice that your layers are associated with your spreads here. So here we have this rectangle. There's nothing on this layer two here. That layer two is residual from up above here. It defaults to one layer per page, okay? So you can see page five here. Let's go into this particular layer here. So now we have body copy on these particular layers here. And if you open them up, you're gonna see um, where that there is a particular image also. If I click on that, you're gonna see it highlights. That's this particular image. It's actually connected to this particular uh, type object. Now again, the point here with layers is the layers will change according to the page that you're on. So make sure that you are have the correct page selected and then go to your layers to see the layers objects.